Hello everybody and welcome back to more Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge. So, we've cleared story mode, we've cleared all the super retro levels and gotten high scores for those. Now, we are going back to arcade mode, and we're going to try to get a... Where did the music go? Oh, okay, that was very strange. Uh, as I was saying... Today we're going to go back to the levels that we played in story mode and try to get the best possible time for them. So, they're but What? The, why does the music keep cutting out? This must not have booted... Hang on, I'm going to reboot the game and I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Alright, we are back again. As I was trying to say, were we going back to the levels we played in story mode and trying to get the best possible time on them? And by that I just mean... Uh, beating the current best time set by the other players, so, the people who made the game. So there are a couple different worlds, we got the Garden, Ancient Space, Subterranean Laboratory, Halloween. We're gonna start in the Garden, and even though you, there's no actual record for a best time here, we're gonna play training mode as fast as we can. And we're going to be playing training mode as Swampy, because clearly he needs a lot of training. Let's see how fast the training mode can go, if you know how to get through it. <laughs> Wow, it dropped an input. Thank you. Oh no! I'm failing at training mode. Because I'm trying to go too fast. And there we go. Swampy knows the training inside and out. <laughs> Swampy's training to kidnap the frogs in his sack. Training complete. He's like, yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> Uh-oh, the game is not running as smoothly as it was in my last recording session, but we'll just try to ignore that. Now we're going off to the garden for our first real test. The best time is set by Laws, which is short for loser. Sorry, Laws. I was just making a dumb joke. The record is 40 seconds. The garden is a very small level, and you can beat it really quickly if you uh, don't care about grabbing all the coins. So, in this case, I think we'll play as... Wart. Yeah, so let's see how fast we can get through the garden. Well, we flubbed up that bit there, but... That's fine. <laughs> and there we go! <laughs> yep, yeah, like I said, garden very, very fast if you uh, don't care about grabbing them coins. I got the best score. I'm gonna see if I can try to beat that 23 seconds, because I did flub up the middle part there. Out of time. No! <laughs> that was so that was so good though. Oh man. I love I do love, Frogger 2 is such a fun speed game though, because you can literally move as fast as you can push the buttons. More or less. I mean, there's a slight animation that has to play when you move, but still. For all intents and purposes? Okay. That is annoying. We beat it by 0.5 seconds. <laughs> Alright, that, that record's pretty good. Got it down to, to less than 23 seconds, though, so I, that's good. Not quite half the time that loser set, but there we go. All right, now we're off to the ancient levels, starting with Boulder Canyon. San has the record here. One minute, 20 seconds. 
Not too bad. Ruby looks like someone who would explore the Boulder Canyon. And there's a kangaroo here as well. Also, just as a friendly word of advice for speed, double super hops are pretty slow. So if we can avoid doing double super hops, it's generally faster to avoid doing those. Like, we could double super hop over that gap, but it's, I think, faster to just run around, because again, you can just do regular hops really, really quickly. Here, how... Ahem. <clears throat> I don't know why that guy hit me when I was super hopping over the gap, but all right. What the? I did not press the enter key for that. <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> all right, we can't just rocket speed up immediately. We have to have at least somewhat of a delay. Okay, when I super hop there, the game lags just so the bird is gonna hit me. And once again, I did not indicate the super hop there. My finger was over the button? Oh, that was weird. This game is not without its bugs, folks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that was stupid. My biggest problem with this level is they, it keeps dropping my inputs or registering inputs that I don't input. Also, I feel like Ruby's double super hop here is causing the game to lag. Not right there, but in other places. That bird is super annoying. So is Ruby's super hop. Okay, uh, no, I'm not playing as Ruby. Ruby stinks. Ruby keeps lagging the game, I think. Let's try Wart. I like Wart. I know I just used Wart on the garden. I don't care. Okay, no. He keeps lagging, too. What the heck? Okay, that is... I am not pushing the enter key when it says to super hop. Alright, fine. Ruby, I'm sorry. I blamed you. There we go. Wow! That was kind of graphic. Kangaroo got cut in half, even though the spike was entirely within the wall. Gotta love Frogger, too! Yeah, it keep, I keep indicating move left here, and it continually drops my input. So I get run over by the weird water... <laughs> Warthog. Water buffalo thing. There, there really seems to be no fast way through that that doesn't end in your demise. There we go. That's the key. Darn it. Okay, so those are off cycle. <laughs> I know it's easy to beat the record without obsessing about perfection like I am right now, but I still want to do the best I can. Okay, I need to be a little bit... If I'm fast enough, I can beat that cycle where it pops out of the wall. Well, I'm not beating the cycle this time. Okay, the boulder part, if you can do it well, looks really good. That's a big if, though. It's, fast, it's faster to go the long way around, but it's safer to do the double super hop. And whatever, I'm tired of doing that level. <laughs> we missed 21 coins, no bonus for me. That's okay, we're down to 41 seconds instead of a minute 20 seconds. 
All right, Art, Matt, and Jim. Let's play Pyramid Climb next, even though technically this level is played in story mode after Grindstone. We're going to go in order of arcade, I suppose. So, Pyramid Climb, when we go, 2 minutes 20 seconds by Matt. Let's play as... Frogerton hasn't played as in a while. And he never played on these Egyptian levels. And it is Frogger's game, darn it. Darn it! The lag on the double super hop really does screw things up. And so when so does when the game just doesn't register your inputs. That's also wonderful. Once again, game did not register that I pushed left to... Thank you. Thank you for dropping multiple inputs there. That was actually very, very nice. No, I even hopped out of the way, though. There we go. No! Oh! This level is gonna be annoying. No! I got it! Ah! So precise. It's, okay, the, the dropping of the inputs is driving me crazy. Alright, those warthogs are going to be a pain in the bowl. Guess which input it dropped. Oh, I, wow. I didn't think that I would be able to hop down there while the logs were opening. There we go. Of course, this end part of the level is the hardest part, so... Like I said, we're on this far. Thank you, dropped inputs. Thank you. All right, not a bad time. Could be better, but not bad. 21 coins missed. 55 seconds, just shy of 56 seconds. All right, all right, I'll take it. Oh, the game crashed. I love it when that happens. <laughs> As you can see, Frogger 2 is just an A tier game with absolutely no flaws. Remember, we only play S-tier level games on Artie's channel. So now, final Egyptian level grindstone, and we can finish off the episode of this. 1 minute 25 seconds by Jim. This will be a lot easier and hopefully a lot uh, faster than Pyramid Climb. So, nothing screams Egypt like robots, I always say. So this first part is very simple. But then the warthogs enter the picture. And these bugs. And the cannonballs. No, that's not good enough. <laughs> uh, 
I hated how you can hop to a new square and still get hit by the fiend on the previous square during the animation. I mean, it makes sense, but it's still annoying. <laughs> no! I did an impossible move, though. There's like one frame where you can hop and then super hop on the same frame. Like that. What? Tank, you're a robot. You can shrug off cannonballs. I also will show off Feeding Frenzy eventually. Because, trust me, these levels get hilarious if you use Feeding Frenzy. You can eat the grindstones. Which just doesn't seem like it should be possible, but it is, and it's hilarious. Okay, no, that's bad. Maybe I should take the long way around there. Nope. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't get hit by the cannonball there. No! If those bugs are in the way at the end, that's so annoying. You lose a bunch of time. Darn it. And now I know it's possible. Like, you can time it so you get in between those two beetles. Like I said, Frogger 2 has a lot of potential as a speed game, and I don't know why more people haven't picked it up. Probably because it's very obscure and hard to run on modern machines. What if we go this way? Definitely lost a bunch of time that way. Nope, that's not the way we're going to go. <laughs> That's annoying when the cannonball lines up just right. Or I guess just wrong is the better way of putting it. Come on. Come on. No! Tank! Gotta be just a little faster. Get in between the bugs. Maybe I shouldn't have picked a level with bugs for a tank because tank doesn't like bugs. Different kind of bug, though. Darn it. These Egyptian levels are really cycle-based. If you miss a cycle, then you can lose a lot of time. Oh well. <laughs> I bet if I could save just a little time to make the first of those cycles, I would have made like all those cycles. And I would have saved a bunch of time. That's okay. 38 seconds. There we go. That's my time, so that was still the fastest one, Boulder Canyon slightly behind that, and then Pyramid Climb being the longest. And I like how you get the little, uh, picture of what the level looks like, that's always fun. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next time we will be going, I believe, to the space levels, which are listed next, even though the subterranean levels were chronologically after that in story mode. So that should be fun. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.